I just wanted to say before we get started, all these YouTubers mentioned in this video are massive. They can all take it, trust me. And of course, my channel was on its ass when Cyberpunk came out. And if it had worked like an intact, proper game, I wouldn't have got the views or been able to do any of the patch adjustments. The attention on the PlayStation 4 was huge. So I owe it that. So our first clip is from someone called Neon Arcade. Around 90,000 subscribers. This one's quite unfair. It's very early. It's 2018, 19, and it talks about the police system. The SWAT or Special Weapons and Tactics Division are a rapid response unit trained to deal with high risk situations. 10 SWAT members equipped with police vehicles police and combat oriented vehicles. cybernetics are assigned in dealing with heavily armed shootouts, sieges, and security for high profile targets. Sieges? Sieges in Night City. Next, we have the Max Tac, also called the Cyborg Suppression Unit. These guys are, are as rare as rock and horse shit, and that was a real heartbreaker of not seeing enough of them. They are in it, but they're few and far between. Cyber Psychos and Cyber Psychosis. I'll link a card in the top right for you guys to check out. It's like a tiny protest. There ain't no riots. What a letdown, and what cool footage as well. Don't remember seeing any of this in Final Game. This next clip's from Open World Games. Really good YouTuber, really kept me posted on a lot of scoops prior to the game coming out, but again, hell of a lot of fun listening to some of this. Today we're taking a very special look at heists in Cyberpunk 2077. Turned out to just be the one heist in the end that is part of the main campaign, and this address, right, with that, like, Elysium style, this was leaked as DLC footage as well, I remember it. A very different time. Plus, the home security systems oh, home security. in some of these bigger places are going to be no joke. <laughs> now this next clip is where things get a little bit darker. This is GameSpot. I know they're in their millions of subs. They're giants on YouTube. And that guy did the playthrough, didn't he? Early look and hands on and listen to the amount of shit that's coming out of his mouth. Also, Deadly Force isn't limited to combat situations like in The Witcher 3. At the beginning of my demo, I stabbed a cop in a very GTA fashion because I wanted to see what would happen. Night City PD promptly put out a warrant for my arrest in the courtyard I was in devolved into chaos. Is that really what happened, is it? Yeah, no, you, you didn't want to just review the behaviors of every single NPC in that area not working, because that was day one, even on PC. At nothing. Yes, better, we've now got Radley Bradley at 9 million subscribers, getting to play the game before any human being on planet Earth on the 9th of December. And not only does he open up by kind of revealing that he's been given a biggest PC rig on Earth to play it on as an added incentive, but he also starts asking for people to view his crap more. Like this is on 13 minutes, and the first thing he does in the video is just start going on about. Can you please start watching me? What a tit! I've been trying to avoid as many spoilers as I can about this. Uh, so here's the thing: sending off 2020. I would like to see this video do well, if possible. Uh, it's ultimately up to you guys, and I, I'll say right now. Spider-Man got like 200,000 likes, and it got over 100,000 likes in the first 24 hours. Now, I'm not expecting that for this, but if we do, I'm just saying, I will I will give this game daily uploads as fast as I can every single day till we finish it. Uh, you guys are amazing. And I have two copies of the game to give away, one for PS5. PS5? On launch day? We had to wait about 18 months, mate. You guys want to either like the video or leave a comment of when you found my channel. And uh, so here's the thing. Both NVIDIA and Zotac are sponsoring this first video, so thank you to them. Uh, they are helping me play this game in not only a better way, but they them sponsoring the video. They, they're sending me a computer, and they gave me a Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 3090 Trinity. Next clip is from a guy called Legacy Killer HD. Actually, don't mind him. He's pretty cool. He's still going strong, and he's talking about this one's real heartbreaker. He's talking about The Witcher being so amazing and how CDPR would never put something out that's below par. It'd be ready when it's ready, all that stuff, oof, that hurts. Surely there are many other games with pro-consumer business models and the promise of delivering a finished product day one coming, but Cyberpunk 2077, I would say, stands at the top and is the most notable example of a publisher listening to what players really want. Oh God. After the masterpiece of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and its two amazing single-player DLCs, everyone likely watching this this video is excited for another experience like that, which is coming when it's ready. This is another one from that same GameSpot reel. We don't have to listen to the guy for this one, thank God. We want to look at how different that UI looks. Unrecognizable, and so are a lot of the scenes as well. This video is from 2020. 
So it it was so crazy. There must have been a real last minute halt on just about so many ideas. And then maybe this six month crunch, it's really mad how damn good this fantasy version of Cyberpunk looks. This next one's a guy reacting to a sort of PR role that came out just in front of the release. And to be fair, it does look bloody amazing. As we've known for a while, there will be pretty much no cutscenes in Cyberpunk. Everything will be done within the gameplay engine. All of the conversations and story moments will essentially look the same way that the gameplay looks. But after seeing some of the footage from the trailer, if the game looks and sounds as good or even better than this, it could definitely work. <laughs> and hindsight is a wonderful thing. And I also got scooped up in some of that free game footage, which we now know as out and out falsitude. There's a huge part of me that still wants to believe. In this Lore Explained episode, we'll look at all law enforcement departments, ranging from the Beat Patrol to the Vice Department to the Max Tack and Riot team. <laughs> and with the game kind of rescuing my channel back then, I don't know what I would have done if it had worked, if it had been a pristine, amazing, flawless piece of video game material that couldn't be faulted, then I would have been screwed. So I owe it a thank you, and I think you never know. We could see a No Man's Sky, we could see this come out Phoenix from the Ashes style, but it will take half a decade. It's just such a shame. They couldn't do anything substantial within that 18 month to two year span after the release. It is still really a shallow shell of what they advertised it as. Special investigations, tactical SWAT, max. <laughs> Being Couch Group, I will keep my eye on Cyberpunk going forward. There will be some more patches coming through this year. CDPR are looking to move in other directions, especially in The Witcher 1. The Sword of Damocles is kind of over the head with DLC, and God only knows what they had planned, but I'll see you down there. <laughs>